Brave men and women in our U.S. military are currently deployed, or are preparing to deploy, to locations around the globe every day. But what you may not know is that our troops have critical support from an extraordinary group right here at home, college students at leading research universities. The National Security Innovation Network, or NSIN, in partnership with BMNT Incorporated and the Common Mission Project, offers the Hacking for Defense program at dozens of top colleges and universities across the country. And because NSIN's mission is to bring together defense, academic, and entrepreneurial innovators to help solve real-world defense and national security challenges, Hacking for Defense, or H4D, is designed to call upon the knowledge and talents of these top students. Through an inventive curriculum, H4D is increasing the speed at which problems are solved for the DoD. Further, NSIN's partnerships with top research institutions invite new, innovative minds to the table to help solve these defense challenges, a new source of solutions in support of our U.S. military. The Hacking for Defense program at the Colorado School of Mines is one such exemplary partnership. The most recent program of H4D yielded outstanding results. Hi, I'm Travis Pham. I am a recent graduate at Colorado School of Mines for the Engineering and Technology Management program. Uh, hi, my name is Kaylin Rittenhouse. Um, I am also a recent graduate of the Colorado School of Mines with a master's in engineering and technology management. And Travis and I both worked on the Hacking for Defense project, Cultivating Talent for the Colorado Army National Guard, along with our teammates, Zach and Sean, who are not here today. Hello, I'm Command Sergeant Major Ed Macias. I'm the State Command Sergeant Major for the Colorado Army National Guard. Our problem we had is with our sponsorship program. What they wanted was these new recruits to have a sponsor, like a higher officer that's related to them in some way. Like they're either from the same town, like same location, same background. And they wanted them to be their helper to integrate into the unit. We weren't tracking to find out how their experience was. Did they receive a sponsor, yes or no? Some units were doing it, some weren't. We were told that the main reason behind new recruits not feeling very integrated is that they often weren't reached out to. After first joining the National Guard, it would take anywhere between two weeks to nine months for them to really receive communication from their unit after they came back from basic. And so we were told that this is why they weren't um, showing up to their drills on time, they weren't feeling like they belonged in the Guard. What I wanted to do was to track it from the state level, so through us here. And I wanted to update our, our version of it. So what we did was, gave the problem to the students and asked them if we can design a, um, some software to uh, use this program. So we initially thought that we needed to approach this from the front end in that we needed to address some element of recruiting and um, look at potentially changing the recruiting problem. Initially, we thought that this program was absolutely terrible <laughs> and that there is no promise. We need to redo everything. but. Um, as time goes on and we had more interviews and we had more um, interactions with officers who are specialized in RMS, we learned that it was actually like a perfect software. And that's where uh, Sean and the rest of the team figured out that if he writes his program and then we put it on the app, uh, it works as soon as you uh, enter the information on the app. Uh, it'll download onto an Excel spreadsheet, which the recruiters will be able to get that information now and enter it now into their RMS program, where before we would have anywhere from 50 to 60 uh, new soldiers each month, and they would get maybe five uh, pieces of paper back from the soldiers. So now we'll, with the app, we'll be able to get it uh, almost every single one of them that show up. I'm Sid Soleil, teaching associate professor in economics and business at the Colorado School of Mines. I'm the lead instructor for Innovate Defense, our Hacking for Defense course. The students see enormous value in this course uh, because they get to flex their engineering and technical and science and math muscles uh, working on a real problem. This course ended up being significantly more interesting and actually more real world than I could have ever expected because I actually got to kind of be a, a pro bono consultant for a real branch of like the armed forces and that was very, very cool to work on a real-world problem for real-world people and hopefully make somebody's like day or life easier. 
you make a lot of connections and you get to practice a lot with communication and talking to people. And I really enjoy like being involved with other people and talking to them. And so I took that as an opportunity for me to take this course. And throughout it, it became one of my favorite courses at Mines because of all the experience and all the people you meet and a simple sense of accomplishment. Once they connect with the problem and connect with a sponsor on the problem, uh, it's pretty amazing what they can do. Sometimes we we get so used to thinking a certain way, bringing in four young uh, students with uh, different ways of thinking definitely helped uh, I think give us a, a fresh look at it. Seeing this in real time, in real life, in a big organization like this really showed me the value of remembering to look at all facets of a problem and remembering to look at every, every step of a process when you're trying to solve something this big.